Given that uh, the, the repeal amendment would allow states to protect their citizens, citizens from overreaching federal power, do you believe the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are sufficiently, did not sufficiently limit federal power? I don't think that it specifically gave them a way to do it. This specifically gives them a, an entrance into the debate. And uh, there's definitely a need for the debate because uh, out our way, the EPA wants to manage manure piles and they want to make sure that farmers keep the dust on their own piece of property. They don't understand western wind. Uh, this is, from my standpoint, it's mostly about the regulations that are being passed that uh, don't appear to have a lot of constitutional backing and uh, in a lot of cases don't even have uh, congressional backing to do it. They're getting into a whole bunch of different areas and uh, I think that we'll get a, a, a very bipartisan approach from the states, particularly as many of them as have to uh, pass a, an identical resolution in order to rebring it to our attention and that will bring a lot of attention. If I could also add to that, it's very clear the Constitution was added with that concept of check and balance. Over the years, especially in the last 50-60 years, the balance between the federal and the states has been eroded. That's what we're trying to reestablish here. So this isn't a regional thing. As, also, as Senator Enzi clearly said, it's also not a Republican or a Democrat idea. I mean, this can be used by conservatives, it can be used by liberals, but what it clearly says is the states have an ability, if they think they have been aggrieved, to ask Congress, ask the federal government, to rethink the issue. They, don't, they can't tell them what to do, but they have to ask them to rethink it. And what I think the practical reality will be is before Congress and maybe some of the agencies start acting as they have in the past, they may actually contact the states and get their input up front, which I think is a win-win situation for all of us.